What is going on guys Healy here and today first roster update of the year a lot of attributes have changed and you guys are gonna like this update the big one you are gonna enjoy James Paxton he's having a stellar season so far he got a plus five and is a gold tier plus two to his stamina plus three to his hits per nine plus 11 to his K's per nine and his walks per nine went up six Ivanova he went up plus five to an 82. Stamina went up five. Walks per nine went up six. And home runs per nine went up 13. Luis Severino, he went up five as well. He's up to a 78. Uh, stamina went up six. K's per nine went up 10. And walks per nine went up seven. Dylan Bundy, he went from a bronze to a gold. He got plus two to his stamina. Plus six to his hits per nine, plus two to his walks, plus nine to his home runs per nine. I think he got an extra pitch added. That's why the control velocity and break have changed. Carlos Carrasco, he went up plus two. He was already a gold. Uh, the only thing that improved was his stamina. Danny Duffy, he went up only one. His hits per nine went up four, and his home runs per nine went up four also. Moving over to relief pitcher, Grant Dayton, he went up 28. He was a 45 last week. He got plus 49. It was hits per nine, plus 37. It was Ks per nine. Walks per nine went up 17, and his home runs per nine went up 10. I think they also changed up a pitch he had. Chris Devinsky went up eight. He is almost a gold status. He was bronze last week. He went up plus seven in the hits per nine, plus 18 in the case per nine, plus five in the walks per nine. Brad, I'm not going to pronounce his last name so I don't get criticized in the comments. He went up plus four. He's almost a gold also. Plus three to hits per nine, plus six to case per nine. Walks per nine went up five and home runs per nine went up three. Iglesias on the Reds. He is a new gold. Went up plus three up to an 85 his hits per nine went up five k's per nine went up eight and his velocity went up 23 uh i'm unsure if they added a new pitch or not generally velocity break and control are all uh changed when pitches are added or they just raise his velocity a bit but this is one of my favorite guys to use because he does have a sinker Craig Kimbrell he went up two he's an 88 now the only thing that changed is his walks per nine went up eight disclaimer there's a lot of updates in this first one because some ratings didn't get accurately represented or people have just had hot starts so I'm not going to go over everyone but we will go over this Mark Reynolds he is a 75 overall, nothing too big. So I'll stay away from the lower rated guys that have gotten huge upgrades, but just so you guys know for the rest of the update, if you want to see any others, uh, just hop on the game or you, you can head to like daddyleagues.com or something. But we're going to go through the major ones. I know you guys want to see those. Mark Reynolds, he got a plus five though, 75 overall. Hitting stats got really improved. Versus righties, contact went up nine. Power went up seven versus lefties. Contact went up eight. Power went up four. His vision also went up four. Everyone speculated this and it happened. Freddie Freeman is a diamond. Yes, he is a diamond. The stats against righties. Went, contact went up two. Power went up three. That's not too large. But his lefty stats are what stands out. Plus eight contact and plus eight power. So use him against lefties and righties vision did go up seven 54 is still somewhat poor but it did go up which is nice and his discipline went up three will myers he is a gold his contact ratings improved righties went up seven lefties went up three the vision went down five and his discipline went down five also so he didn't get as much of an improvement as we would have liked to see Eric Thames is now added into the ball game. 
He plays first base, and he has secondaries of left field and right field. I wouldn't recommend him playing there, but we're going to go through his whole stats. 82 overall. I thought he was going to be an 82-83 silver because he's been killing the ball, and first base stats thrive on hitting for overall. So his contact stats versus righty, he has a 74 contact. Versus lefties, 62. Not bad. Power ratings, they're starting them off at an 80 for righties and lefties. They'll probably improve it if he can prove himself uh, throughout the season. Don't don't sleep on those. This is just his first ratings in the ball game. Vision is at 42. Discipline's at an 81. Fielding stats, 59. Arm strength's at 57. Accuracy, 59. And his speed's at a 53. That's why I'm saying do not play him in the outfield. Unless you have to. But hitting wise, great stats to start off with. If he can prove himself over the next couple weeks, we could see him like get in an even higher rating, which will be sweet. Jose Abreu did take a downgrade. Contact ratings took a dip a little bit. Righties went down five. Lefties went down four. Power versus righties also went down four. Cesar Hernandez, he went from an 81 to an 84. A lot of different upgrades and downgrades for him. Contact ratings, plus five versus righties, plus three versus lefties. Uh, his power did go up, plus 12 versus righties, plus eight versus lefties. Huge improvement there, but he still has super low power. His vision did go down 10, and his discipline went down 11. Kind of kind of mixed on that. Rugned Odor, he went down. That's sad to see. Uh, the only thing that changed on him was contact ratings. Went down eight versus righties and nine versus lefties. Oh man, I I I've, I've been using him in my lineup for the the events, so might have to change him up. Devin Travis went down three. His contact versus righties took a dip of five. Power ratings took a dip as well. Versus righties went down four. Lefties went down seven. Vision went down seven also. Chase Headley got a plus three. People have been looking for this. Nice switch hitter. Uh, he's up to a 78 now. Contact versus righties went up eight. Uh, versus lefties, it went down actually three. He did take a power boost versus righties. It went up nine. And his discipline went up five. Taylor Motter, uh, he went up five, he got a plus 18 to his contact versus righties, and a plus 12 power versus righties. Vision did go down four, and his discipline went up 30. Addison Russell actually got a, an improvement. Only went up plus one, though. Mm, I think the contact versus righties, it, that takes a dip of minus 10. That probably cancels him out from going silver. But contact versus lefties goes up 17. And then the power ratings, plus three versus righties, plus six versus lefties. Andrew Benintendi, he went up plus two. Contact went up plus 10 versus righties, plus six versus lefties. And his discipline went up three. He could be a silver here in the future. Ozuna, he got a plus two. He's up to an 83 now. The only thing that changed was he got a plus seven power boost versus righties the bronze beast no longer they nerfed franklin gutierrez minus 24 power versus righties minus 10 power versus lefties wow moving over to right field the most wonderful upgrades of this save the best for last not really right field just count comes last in this Mitch Hanniger, he gets a plus nine, moving up to a 76, plus 13, contact versus righties. He does take a dip in contact versus lefties, minus five. Power versus righties goes up plus 17. Discipline goes up 32, though. Aaron Judge, oh, baby, he goes up plus eight. He gets the power improvements we were waiting for, plus 21, Power versus righties, plus 16 power versus lefties, plus seven contact versus lefties. Also, he is going to be a great battle royale guy. <laughs> Tell you that right now. And then his discipline went up plus 21. 
Bryce Harper, baby, up to a 94. 94. Oh, man. I did not expect him to get this high of an upgrade, but wow. Contact ratings goes up plus five versus righties, plus seven versus lefties. His power up to a 93, plus eight versus righties. And his lefty power status goes up plus six. Very glad they improved his power or his lefty stats. That's good. And they improved his vision plus seven. Oh, man. Playing ranked seasons at the higher divisions. PCI was a little smaller, but his stat improvement all around. Beast. Oh, man. Oh, man. Curtis Granderson, he is a silver now. All right. The only thing that changed was his position got changed to right field. Jason Hayward is a silver. They improved his hitting. He's in pretty well this year. Lefty stats not improved at all. He is terrible against lefties, but he has been raking when he's been playing against righties. Plus three contact versus righties. Plus nine power versus righties. Mookie Betts, he gets a plus one. Moving up to a 94. And wow. Only one stat changed on him, but it is a huge stat vision. It gets a plus six up to a 92. This card is sweet. Carlos Gonzalez, he gets a minus two, unfortunately. Sorry, we have to end this with uh, some bad news. His contact ratings, minus five versus righties and minus two versus lefties. Power does dip versus righties down to a 77, minus six. So yeah, that is the roster update for April 28th. It was a pretty good one. Uh, let me know who you guys thought should get upgraded or downgraded. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to see more of the Sealy. I'm out. Peace.